Tova. I'm Teron. And we are Double or Nothing. So, y'all, did y'all just see us break out of that graveyard? Did y'all see that? We broke those chains. We came up out of there. Like, thrill them. For the month of January, y'all, we are talking about dead weight in marriage. Things that keep you stuck things that hold you down, things that are just like being stuck in a graveyard in your marriage. What do you think? It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. So we did a simulation of being in a graveyard. Is that kind of how it feels like sometimes, babe? No, not really. I mean, maybe early on in our marriage, maybe, but where we're at now, it, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty, pretty sweet, pretty, pretty good right now. Yeah. But early on, maybe it was We've like definitely something been holding there. you back. You yeah, know? definitely been there before. Definitely. So, y'all, today we're talking about finances, debt, money. Money, 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 money. Money. Okay, so y'all, I want to talk first because I want to tell y'all something. I want to be very transparent. Before we got married, I used to hear people talk about, you know, before you marry someone, you need to know what kind of debt they have. You need to talk about your debt. Uh, I used to hear people say, you know, marry a man or marry a woman who already has certain things, like who has a house and a car, of course, and, you know, different assets, right? But honestly, immaturely, I thought, well, I don't have to have everything before I get married because I want to build that with my husband right? I want to be able to get a house with my husband and, you know, get assets and cars and start businesses or whatever it is with my husband, right? Y'all, I had it all wrong. Wrong, wrong. It was very important. It was vital for us to know what kind of debt each other had. It was important for us to know even our values about money mm -hmm. and knowledge about money too. Yeah, and and that was very important. So y'all, I learned. I learned the hard way. Because long story short, if I'm single and I'm and I'm working toward a good credit score and I'm working toward a house and a car and all that other stuff. And then I, another single woman is still working toward those same things. Y'all be able to achieve them together probably around the same time. Okay. Now, if I'm single, I'm doing what I want, just accumulating debt and stuff. And I meet a woman who's doing the same thing, not knowing that if we come by and each other's fin finances we're gonna be looking crazy you know of course yeah you, you can work toward it but it's it's harder to get out of debt once you got a lot of debt and then you combine somebody else's on top of it so yeah. uh yeah so that's that's very important very very important so now if you hear this video, okay, if you're watching and you hear what we're talking about and you are newly married or you have not gotten married yet, that's the key, especially if you haven't gotten married yet, you guys need to talk about your debt. You need to know the debt that each one has and you may even need to take steps to get rid of your debt before you get married. And I know these are things that I'm sure you guys have heard before. I heard it, but I didn't listen. I just I just thought I knew what I was mm -hmm. talking about. I just was like, I got this. I didn't have it. I did not have it. So we definitely wanted to bring that point up. Hmm. Okay. So, so let's talk about beliefs about money. That's also important to know before you get married. It's important to know how your partner feels about uh, saving money, how they feel about debt, accruing debt, um, how they feel about uh, just acquiring assets together, um, different things like that. So that's really important because you want to make sure that you guys have the same values and the same goals. Um, you want to make sure that you two are on the same page about whether or not you want to uh, like get credit cards 
that creates a lot of debt that people deal with day to day. Um, and I mean, we, we've gotten debt together, credit cards together, and just carelessly managed it carelessly so that's something that we should have talked about and known beforehand about if we get debt how are we going to manage it and made you know important um, mindful decisions about it um, I think you kind of had some things that you talked about uh, as it pertains to like debt and just paying bills on mm -hmm. time you want to like share a little yeah. bit about that um I was always a fan of trying to decrease my monthly bills okay so my cell phone bill is 250 i want to know what why is 250 and what can come off of it that's not a necessity to decrease that bill from 250 to anything else lower 230 200 whatever um so i would go through different things that's an expense for us and i and i'll work on that so um, that was always a big thing for me is just how can I, I decrease my monthly expenses so it will create more money and me and my family's pocket down the road. Um, besides that, you know, you, you have to budget. You know, you have to see what all bills you have to uh, pay, utilities, uh, car notes, Netflix, gas, food, because we don't get food stamps, so we got to account for food out of our pocket also. Uh, so it is different things that we have to account for. And then we know that uh, a set amount of money is coming to our account, for, you know, paydays and stuff. We got to bounce that off of each other. So, um, and then after all the necessities to pay for, we look at what we can invest, um, cryptocurrency or savings account uh, you know would it be wise to you know put money somewhere else and maybe that would generate another stream of income or some of that so um those are some ideas that i had right there yeah you i started smiling while you were talking because i thought about the many times that um you know maybe you were like we don't need cable you know so you downsize that bill or even um just different different subscriptions like mm -hmm. you mentioned netflix or um i don't know xm radio or you know different subscriptions that you have that's really just taking money each month that you don't have to have it's not a necessity and so i was just thinking about some of the times where i may have not wanted to get rid of cable cable tv but you were like look we don't even watch it we're no, not even home TV. you know especially like before we had children or when we only had one child um we didn't even need it you know and to be honest with you we do have cable now but our kids don't really watch it no they don't youtube all they need is internet access yeah all they need is internet and they don't watch it and when i do watch something i i record mine and then i go back and watch it later like it takes me days to watch one one movie one show whatever so um those are just different ways different things that you guys will actually need to talk about and understand how you view these things how do you view your money and you know what something that we don't talk that we didn't talk about at all until like just years ago um maybe two years ago talking about the value of money using money as a tool and not like uh thinking that we're supposed to like money means anything other than being a tool to help us to uh you know acquire different things mm -hmm. that we're doing uh meet different goals um so different things like that and so that's when we started actually like getting into like uh just stocks and uh you know trading and things um and other things just trying to create other streams of income so uh it's really important to know what the value of money is to your partner uh, some people they like to um take their money and shop you know some people waste some people like to save some people actually like to invest and so those are things that you guys have to talk about to know what's important and how we're going to use our money so 
no, that's it for that topic. What else we got? Let's talk about getting out of debt. So, once you guys are, if you're already married, okay? So, we talk to people who are not married, all right? So, before you get married, talk about these things because it's important. But once you're married, you're already in there, you're deep in debt or you're you're struggling financially, that's when you have to get together and you have to actually come up with a plan to get out of debt. And that may look like downsizing. That might look like canceling some things that are not necessities. To Ron, if it was up to him, we would be in here holding our phone with the Light light a light <laughs> or lighting candles for lights if if he felt like we could downsize the electric bill. So um, I'm not telling you guys to do that. <laughs> She never let me do that anyway. No. If it was up to him, we would live in tents and save our money. Yeah. But anyway, what was I saying? I was saying that if you need to get out of debt, then you have to actually come up with a plan to do mm -hmm. so. Right. And you may have to make some sacrifices. You're definitely going to have to make some changes with how you use your money, especially if you notice that you've done a lot of wasting. Um, and sometimes... You waste money and you don't know. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Sometimes we waste and it's unintentional. And we don't even realize it until we actually sit down to create this plan so that we can talk about what is it that we need to do to pay off debt or get rid of debt. So that's important. A plan is important. Plan of action. Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Maybe this is... You know, it could be a tip for you guys. You know, after you said whatever you said, they might be like, well, tell us something good. All right, I'm going to tell you something that might be good for some of y'all. You know, especially families. Okay, it's January. Tax time's right around the corner. Okay. What we was doing for a while, you know, like maybe four years straight, would would take one bill, one, you know, maybe larger bill or, you know, debt, whatever you want to call it. And when tax sign came around, we'll knock that bill out. Knock it out. You know, you know you're gonna get a lump sum of money, uh, tax time, knock out one of the major bills you you have, and that immediately will come off your credit or increase your credit score or whatever. And that could build towards that goal that you have with your with your partner. Uh so say for instance, say you say you got an iPhone. You know, so you had an AT&T bill, Verizon, whatever, you know, and you never paid the bill off. Say they want 1500 mm -hmm. Tax time come, see what they would settle for, pay that bill off, and that's something that could come off your credit. Increase your credit score, and then next thing you know is, you know, you got one more thing off. The next year, hey, uh, say, you, uh, say you had a car that you know, it's still on your credit. See what they can settle for. Pay that mug off, you know, or make a large payment toward it and whatever. It's something else you ain't gotta worry about. And that's that's two years back to back, you know. Um, and then especially if you, you made this thing for a long haul, you know, forever or whatever you wanna call it. Hey, by your fifth, sixth year or something like that, y'all might be sitting good and able to obtain those goals that y'all have toward, uh, have with each other that you, you know, trying to achieve, so. Uh, that's one little tip that you know you might use if you haven't used it already. I know it's common sense, well, I would think, but you know maybe that's something that could be useful for you. Yeah, and that's doing it the long way, right? Mm -hmm. That's just doing it. That's if you can't do it, you know, a hundred dollars a month toward yeah. a certain bill, or some of like that, you know, maybe that'll be helpful to you. So. Yeah, but I think what we. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. I think what we found is that, um, you know, if we can take the areas where maybe we wasted or, you know, spent money somewhere that wasn't necessary and actually put that towards a bill, then um, that's very helpful and that's a great way to pay off debt throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So, And then when I was single, when I was single, the biggest bill for me was eating out. Ten dollars a meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and maybe another meal. That's almost forty, fifty dollars a day in food. Okay, 
So you do the math, save that money up, and and if you're single, you can just buy your just buy your food whole and cook, and that'll save you some money and pay the rest and bills or whatever you got to do, and you know try to make your, your goal as a single individual. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and I'm guessing you learned that in hindsight, huh? Because you mm-hmm. weren't you weren't doing no cooking. You were cooking. Yeah, I'm cooking. He was not cooking. So when I was single, how you know? He was cooking. But my single life was different from other folks' single life. I could I could eat on the ship. Yeah, you had that so, benefit. Uh-huh. You did have that benefit. Um oh, you made me forget what I was gonna tell them. Oh, y'all. So look, let me tell you something else. And this is just another tip. There are some things that we learned over the years that we could have been doing to oh, yes. to yeah. like uh oh. My phone tried to cut y'all out. Yeah, so we learned some tips over the years that we could have been doing that really would have helped us take our money and invest it wisely and get a return on it. Um, So instead of wasting, you know, guys, look for ways to like uh, create streams of income other streams of income besides mm-hmm. your nine to five because that would be, be very beneficial for you guys i know when we were when we were younger we we had money come through our hands like we had a lot of money come through our hands that um you know we might have ultimately used it just to pay bills and to eat out or whatever but um it, we didn't use it toward the ultimate goal that we have now yeah so in high- for some reason we it the goals we had then and the goals we had now were not the same. Mm-mm. You know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what we were thinking about. I don't think we were thinking about nothing bad, but we was, you know, when we was younger, you know, we was just in the moment, living life in the moment and not thinking about the big white house with the picket fence and the two-door garage and all that stuff. That just wasn't a... Um, goal of ours back back then and now we now want land like, we want homes uh-huh. plural That's we right. want houses plural um but if we had known then what we know now or even had the mindset then that we have now we would have taken some of that money and allocated it into investing in land and homes and like i said other streams of income um that would have really been a benefit to us now 15 years down the line. Mm-hmm. So guys, especially if you are newly married or not even married, begin to find ways to take your money and invest it and create streams of income. Um, if you're already married, that means you're kind of like us and you found out these things later on down the line. It is not too late. It is not too late to start turning around your finances, to start turning around your debt and actually getting out of debt. Um, And along the way, also finding ways to invest your money to make more money for your family. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I forget what I was about to say again. It was a good one. It was good. Anything else you want to share? Uh, no, I think that's, that's it. I think we covered a lot. Mm. I hate that I forgot what I was going to say. I think it was about getting out of debt. So, anyway, um, and we keep saying things you can invest in that will help out. I think one time I might have invested into like a, like a $10 a uh, vacuum that you can use um, inside your car. And the only reason I invest in that, I'm like, well, I ain't got to worry about paying a dollar fifty cent for these vacuums at these gas stations. So I'm gonna spend ten dollars on this vacuum and just clean up my own car with this that I, you know, invested my ten dollars in. And later on down the road, I'll be saving some money. So you know, it could just be little things like that. It ain't gotta be nothing major, but um, if you can just find different things like that in your life. You know it'll be beneficial down the line definitely so um yeah even down to the like you know having lunch and mm-hmm. and taking your own lunch and preparing your own lunch um yeah there's so many hacks that you guys could use just like he said with the vacuum cleaner that would save you money and although it may have been an investment whether it was a small investment or even a bigger one um 
you know, over time, you will see that it, you had put that money to good use. Um, I think I wanted to say something else about um, just debt. Um, but I just cannot remember, y'all. I put, I'm the planner. I got a whole list that I can't remember. Okay, it's not on the list. Oh. Well... Well, if I have to do a supplemental video later on. Yes, because I'm sure I'm going to remember as soon as we get done here. And then I'm going to be like, yeah. So definitely, guys, I hope that this video has blessed you. I hope that we've just kind of given you some things to think about, if nothing else, uh, so that you can sit down with your husband or your wife uh, or your soon-to-be husband and wife and begin to just talk about your plan. Oh, I just remembered. It is important to know how you got, like, how are you going to manage your money as husband and wife? Like, for us, we combine all of our money. Um, when we first got married, I was a teacher. Uh, I'm not a teacher currently. I'm, a, I'm not now. But when we started out, we both worked a nine to five. And we still brought our finances together. And we paid our bills out of our, fi our joint finances. We, budget we budgeted. We mm. budgeted out of our joint finances um we had leisure out of our joint finances that was the way we did it okay some people choose to have separate you know accounts and separate finances and not to bring their finances together uh, to take care of the household so that is something that's very important is to determine how are you guys gonna manage your, your money as husband and wife? And how are you guys gonna go about taking care of your bills and your savings and um, getting out of debt and whatever it else it is that, that meets your goals? And so once you guys have that plan and have that understanding, you are better able to just do the things that you need to do and to execute wisely um, in the right manner. Okay, so even if you guys decide to not be like us and keep your finances separate, you know, sometimes if you don't have that plan beforehand, you may spend uh, frivolously, you might, uh, you know, because you haven't made that plan and so you're not budgeting well. And so I believe that's very important. Yeah, even if you get separate accounts, I mean, it still can work and it probably still is working for you. Unless you communicate about who's doing what, you know, who's doing that. Put, uh, you know, I'm gonna put a hundred up for my savings. You put a hundred up from your savings, you know. It, it doesn't matter. It's all about communication and just trying to understand where the other person is coming from. So uh, joint accounts, separate accounts, long as you're able to handle the, the bills and the goals and objectives you got, it don't, it don't matter. As long as you communicate with it, it's gonna be okay. Yes, it will. We believe in you. We believe that you can do it. Uh, so even if it's, it's not something that you guys have thought about before. Talk about it. Yeah, talk about it now. Make a plan now. Um, if you're already married, if you're like us and you're deeply married, like deep in there, we deep in there, y'all. So uh, if you're like, yeah, if you're like that and you still have debt, you still have to get your finances in order or decide how you want to manage them. You know what? There's no better time than now to just sit down, talk about it, make a plan, write it out, make your goals, and then go for it. It's a new year, y'all. You can do this. You got this. And if you need help, let us know. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Ask a question. We look forward to hearing from you. All right. Peace. Bye.